Dr. John Deutschendorf, Bradford Grant Institute of Cosmic Kinesis. Uh, for several weeks, we've been analyzing seven signals uh, from deep space, and uh, recently, we focused our efforts on the strongest uh, signals, and we realized it was transmitting uh, sets of map coordinates, uh, each more specific uh, than the other. Uh, on the evening of November 7th, the signal transmitted a final set of map coordinates, and uh, they centered on the town of Bielund in western Denmark. Traveling overnight, uh, my colleagues reached Denmark and managed to find the exact location transmitted by the signal. Come on, out the car, let's go. Let's go. This is Nigel Ponsford Stan. I'm calling from the Bradford Rand Institute. It's no, in no, here. no. I'm, I'm not Bradford Rand. I'm calling from the Bradford Rand Institute. Bradford Rand! Bradford Rand, I say! I need to get in. We'll see you in time. Come along, Fritz. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Open up. Let's go, go. Come along, Fritz. Oh, I lost the ticket. Come along, this way. Yeah. I think we're close. They're right on top of it. What are we looking for? What is this? What is this? Ooh. Wait, don't touch it. Don't no, 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 touch no. a thing. What kind of readings are you getting? Transparent Lego bricks. You should wear gloves. Remember what happened last time? You didn't wear gloves? But there's more over here. The trail is uh, is leading us into the bushes. I see it! I see oh. it! Ach, Gott in Himmel! Get in here, Fritz! Come on! Approximately six inches in diameter. Yeah. Just doing a UV scan. There's, there are other markings as well. We'll have to analyze them back at the lab. Maybe you should pick it up? Uh, I'm not sure. Careful, Gunda. Yes. Okay. Gently. What is it? It's a spacecraft. Who is that inside? I think if I just... Yeah, gently, it's coming, it's gently. coming, it's coming. Careful. Oh, hang on, let me have a look. Let, let me shoot that. Hello? Oh. Oh, there's hinges. Wait a moment. Is he in some kind of stasis? He's not moving, that's for there's sure. There's no sound, there's no sign of life, but there's a this pilot. I have never seen that break before. Never. Some kind of chrome, beautiful. Okay, let, let's place him in the case now. Come on, gently. Yes. Is that secure? Yes. And now my colleagues and I will examine the extraterrestrial object. Hmm, gentlemen, it seems to be some type of pod. And simply lifts out thusly. I would say that this is an awful amount of instrumentation for such a small object. I will be extremely careful with this. He's resisting slightly. We must remove his helmet, gentlemen, shall we? Yes. Gently. I think this guy looks pretty serious. He has a satellite dish on his back. Perhaps he's transmitting back to his home world. What do they read? Q V N S M Q. It's like a pod uh, pod ID. Yes, could be. Perhaps if we entered the pod ID into the mainframe here at the lab laboratory, what kind of results do you think we'd get? We should try that Professor? definitely. We should Professor? try that. I'm for one got into science to take risks, and uh, I think we should fire up the mainframe, enter the code, and see what happens. Uh, we've uh, just entered the pod ID into the mainframe computer and uh, decoded the signal and revealed a piece of data. And, and we don't know what this data means, uh, so you have to help us with this and come to www.bradfordrant.org and, and, and solve the mystery. We need your help. 